Okay, okay, okay. Yo, 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 what is up with it? All right, so this is going to be the scent that I use going in to season two of PvP. This is like what I have now, what I'm shooting for, what I think people should be going in with. You can pull Deep Thunder, I think, for like if you have maybe Gorhel. I don't know. I've been thinking about this in my head. Gorhel versus uh, Bone Grinder, Gladiator stuff versus Deep Thunder. Because Deep Thunder, the perk rate isn't great for isn't great for paladins compared to warriors. I think savagery is probably the way to go for the enchant. Mongoose is just the flex. But it's all gladiator gear. Um, I have a five set here. You could probably pull one of these out for something better. I would say maybe the gloves for Gauntlet to martial perfection if you have that. But it's pretty much, yo, what up, Mike? But it's pretty much all gladiator stuff. The resilience is really good. You get so much stat value from it. I like the end pieces here. Even though the way my, uh, my point system is laid out, it tries to tell me to go for the strength ones, but I think you kind of want that in. It just gives you more buffer, even though you lose a bunch of resilience, you lose a bunch of crit. It does give you strength too, I think, more so than the normal strength and uh, stamp set. But you're, you're getting more stats overall with this. It depends on how you value in, whether you're doing like fives or threes or twos. Because in, in fives, I will say you really don't need in, but in, in twos and threes, you go um, really often. But full gladiator, these are the enchants I like. I'm not going to bother with the gems. You guys know what you should do with the gems. It's like, you want stamina, you want resilience, you want big strength, you want agility, you could, you'll take some crit. But agility better than crit for PvP because you're also getting that armor and you're getting that uh, dodge value. I love the, the strength in and for the meta gem on the helmet, I actually, this well, it's the same thing. Like, But what I like and what I see a lot of good paladins using is, what is this thing called? It's the one that gives you int and it gives you a chance to restore mana on spellcast. Because pounds are always popping off with the spells, you go, you're getting a lot of mana back from that. That's really big in twos and threes. And the one thing I'll say, I actually like the Blade Spire War Vans a lot. But you can, obviously, you could use the Generals one. Like, these are fine too. And then same here, it really likes the stats on the Girl of the Endless Pit. It has a lot of shit going for it. But yeah, you could flop these out for the for the PvP instead. But this is, this is pretty generic. And then the Ring of a Thousand Marks is dope because... It gives you all that hit rating. It gives you all the hit rating you need because you only need 2%. You're getting the other three from your talents in the prod tree. Um, and then Bandit Exorcist is banging. You could pull things and move them around. You could fuck with this if you want to with the expertise. But I, I like these right now. And if you really don't need the hit or if you're struggling, you can put this in. It's better stats, but you lose the hit from, from Ring of a Thousand Marks. But this is what I plan on starting with. I think this is going to be strong as hell. Um, but... So as soon as phase two hits, you can start replacing these. Boom, this guy, this guy, the ring gets upgraded, this gets upgraded, the cloak does not get upgraded, the wrist get upgraded. So this is the set I'm trying to end the two ring. The two ring is sick. Um, this is the set, this is my dream set for phase two PvP. The weapon again is like it could be Storm Herald here, it could be the PvP one, it could be Twin Blade of the Phoenix. I think this thing is just the most swag. But it's like it's the same kind of setup. I say veterans Vanda Triumph and get all these early as hell. Um but it's going to be the five set again and the fucking inset. It's pretty basic. The one thing I will say is the cloak. There's no season two cloak. So the most value you could get out of a cloak. I say ignore this one. And that the Thalasian Wilder cloak from the eye. I know every hunter is going to want this. You'll see this is going to be a common theme. But the agility, you want attack power because strength versus attack power is kind of the same for you. You don't give a fuck. But that agility is dope because you are getting dodge and you're getting armor from it, which is really cool. I think this is the best. <laughs> and um again you have the five sets so you can pull something out the legs are actually kind of sick but this set here it leaves you just at five percent with all these so you get these and it kind of pulls out all that extra hit percent you have in the build so you can put these in and uh pull out like this ring probably is what the rest of the hit is from but you do whatever because yeah tier five legs are actually the most the highest value piece i could find to pull out from the five set of gladiator gear and then you can do something like pull this ring out. This shit is nutty too, because it's that same thing. It goes back to having agility is really, really high value. The strength, it could be an attack card. We don't really care about that. But yeah, this thing is fucking sick. And this one, obviously, for the hit is just too many stats. It's, it's kind of the same relationship with Mithril Band and uh, Ring of Thousand Marks or whatever the fuck it's called, Truths. So this is my dream PvP set, phase two. Um, everything else is pretty much the same, same enchants, blah, blah, blah. I love the 17 strength and int. I don't think there's a better head enchant for PvP. If you are doing some kind of really wonky set or you don't have access to a lot of gear, you could put the strength or the attack power for your strength and a hit rating one. But that's that. This is the PvE set, I think. That's the dream. It fucking looks dope too. It's kind of wild. Um, Blade Spire Warband stick around because you don't need much hit rating. That's what the big value from these are. 
but these are obviously really strong but yeah these stay pretty god tier um i say go for the same this get the god tier right i got your dst and your Sinoring talisman of course and then a lot of this gear is like you're using the two set i like the two set bonus from tier five because reducing the judgment is nice it's actually one that's kind of relevant um this should probably be hit rating but we'll see it looks like i had some plan here and then you want instead of the uh mana return gem go for agi and increase crit damage please not the talisman tsunami talisman oh it's so sick um all right and then i'll just go down the line this is amazing but this is another one of those where like you're probably gonna end up with this because hunters are gonna want this agi one this is just more stat value but you're probably gonna end up with this this is abyss though the shoulders are god tier. I think you just have to get these. Yeah, they're just way too good. And they give expertise. There's a lot of pieces on this that give expertise, and you need to get it as a rec because your white hits connecting is so huge. So this has expertise on it instantly, your abyss, for probably a long time. The Legion Molder Cloak, again, this is another one that Hunter's going to want, so you're probably going to end up with, um, hmm, is it this that you end up with, the Razor Scale Battle Cloak? I want to say it's that one. It is this one. Because this is Hunter Pride because it's attack power and agility. But... That's it's this is your best man. <laughs> the chest piece is sick. I looked around at um the different tier and where you could put it, and the chest piece and the helm is the best combo. Chest piece is nutty. Was there anything that competed with this? This thing probably for raw stats, but whew, it's a lot of stats. It's probably good if you need hit, real bad, but the tier is good and you get the set bonus. War bands again, weapon again. We talked about that. These are expertise gloves. I think they stick around. No, they get replaced. I've been trying to get these all fucking phase. I never got them. But there's a new expertise glove in town, and you're gonna want those. They're fucking sick. But these are still kind of godlike. This belt is absolutely insane. Um, it's another new expertise piece. So every every single piece where you can get something dope with expertise on it, you're gonna want to take it. Belt of 100 deaths is fucking huge. Look at the difference here. 104. The next best thing is 78 stat points. Huge. These legs are nutty. I think there was something that was close. Yeah, the tier five legs were close. But I pulled them out because you don't want that hit. That hit percent is not, it's like a hidden value that you don't care too much about. And these legs are not even obviously still very good. And these are the other boots that you're probably going to lose to hunters, but there's two of them. There's these guys, the Cobra Lash boots, and there's the Star Strider boots, which is probably what you're going to end up with. Keep it a buck. But they're both really good. Either one. I kind of like these a little bit more just because it's more raw power. What's the trade-off? You get a red socket. That's essentially what it is. You're getting a red socket. The other one's a blue socket, MP5. You get a bit of base in from that as well. This ring is dope. You keep Shapeshifter Signet just because it's expertise. And yeah, the ring is insane. You get 6.23 hit percent with this in the town. So this is assuming you are in a fairy fire group or a fairy fire raid with a boomkin. Otherwise, you could put something like the tier legs here and that's probably enough ish. You do that and maybe the headpiece and you're good. But yeah, that's that's the bis that I'm going for. I think this shit is dope. PVE, the dream. Obviously, a lot of these things like boom, boom, boom are gonna get subbed out for hunters. <laughs> but that's it. This is your PvP bis, I think. I don't want to talk about the gems too much. My gem, I've been getting some criticism about the gems, but this gear is godlike. This cloak is fucking huge. And this is what I think you should have kind of right now. But going into phase two, you're gonna want to replace the neck, boots, waist, wrist, and ring. Alright. Cheers, thanks, blah, 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 do the stuff. <laughs>